Alrighty, good evening everyone. It is Tuesday. I'm looking at my hair and it's so curly. I have poodle hair because it's so humid. Humid here in the Northeast today. Uh, this is Anne Marie and this is Light Language Monday on Tuesday. So yesterday I got home from work and seriously I fell asleep at 7. And I slept until 5.10, 5.15 when I had to wake up this morning because <laughs> I had to get to work early. But, um, yeah, so Light Language Monday was not. But here we are. Uh, it is Tuesday. It is the 18th of September. So this is Light Language Tuesday, whatever, Monday. Uh, volume 13, y'all. 13 weeks I've been doing this so I think that's awesome and um, I hope that for my five loyal viewers uh, you appreciate and enjoy uh, this ministry and I call it a ministry because you know I don't really do this for my health <laughs> I do this because I feel strongly uh, that I have uh, a message to share and I'm willing to put myself out there and share it with you, okay? So I have to talk about a couple of things. The first thing that's kind of cool is that I actually channeled an ET the other morning. Um, and it was interesting because I do this. I record the same program that I use to do Light Language Monday on my PC. And um, so I was like, for my morning meditation, I want to, you know, I feel like I always channel what I know. And uh, how do I know what I'm channeling? Blah, blah, blah. So as I started to breathe and, you know, my the light language came through, I got a real deep, I got a buzzing in my left ear. And it buzzed and buzzed and buzzed, came in. And then I started to channel. I channeled this ET, and the ET is like, well, Emory, you wanted to channel something you never did before? Well, here we are. <laughs> Thanks for being there for us, and we're good to know you're there. So here's your new experience. It came in through my side, and what they said is it didn't come in through my heart chakras because they're not part of my soul family, uh, and, and it's not from source in my soul family, but they are a benevolent, high-frequency being. Um that uh, comes in and communicates to us in different ways. So, totally cool. I'm really psyched about that. So that's really beautiful. Um, so that's one thing I want to tell you. The second thing I want to tell you is that, I don't know if some of you follow me on my posts and what I do. I've been posting a lot of like, you know, um, uh, conspiracy theory kind of things. And I have to say that I delved I went down the rabbit hole a little bit, and it sincerely affected me. It really seriously affected me. Uh, it started a couple days ago. Um, spy satellites being taken down or cabal satellites being taken down. So I kind of went down the cabal road for a couple of days, and I was getting curious about what to... You know what's going on and all this and so I I watched some videos on YouTube about the cabal and their secret societies and stuff like that but you know what that seriously it troubled me it took my focus away from my true from my, it took my focus away and I'm an artist, I'm a visual person. So, I mean, I won't remember your name, forget that, okay? But your face will remember till I die. And I will see you in a crowd and I'll come to you and I'm like, I know you from somewhere. And it'll be like 10 years ago, but I, I swear I remember you. Okay, so when I look at images, they stick. So I saw some images on these videos that were very disturbing. And it, it has taken me uh, some really serious self-examination to figure out 
uh, that me delving into this curiosity, and you know how curiosity killed the cat. Well, curiosity caused me to change my vibrational trajectory to where things were showing up in my life. Uh, one thing, namely, is that cars were pulling out in front of me, okay? Uh, scared the crap out of me because nothing goes wrong when I drive, okay? Nothing. All of a sudden, cars are coming out in front of me. Cars are coming out in front of me. People are pulling out, uh, changing lanes into my lane, okay? Um, and I'm the type of person that if I stub my toe, I think about what did I do energetically that I stubbed my toe. If I have a paper cut, uh, I cut my finger the other day with my, my own nail. I took off the fake, the falsies, um, and I cut my finger. So it makes me say, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention. I'm not focusing. What am I not focusing on? Guess what? I allowed my focus to be taken away. When uh, I attended the Catholic Church, and there was the first wave of um, priest pedophilia, uh, my pastor said when the priests take their eyes off the cross, that's when things get dangerous. And I always kept that, keep your eye on the cross. It's a metaphor. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the cross. Whatever. Keep your focus pure, in other words. Keep your mind pure. And really, doesn't, I don't know where my, my um, Course in Miracles book is. My, my readings in the Course in Miracles were, you are the light of the world. You are the light. The light inside you. Uh, purifies everything that's around you, to, to put it, um, to paraphrase it very loosely. Um, so what I allowed myself to do caused me all these manifestations in my regular life, all right? So please forgive me by sharing these things with you whether it be on private message, whether it be on my page or on our Channeling Jesus page. I mean, Jesus did come through Tina before she left uh, for Taiwan and gave a really kind of like scary message. You know, it was a very troubling message. It was troubling for me, you know, because I understand I just need to worry about myself my love and make sure that I am focusing love I cannot worry I don't I know crap's gonna happen we all know that we know we are the light workers of the world we are carrying this burden on our shoulders and the only way that the people who have not been illuminated talk about Illuminati they are no longer the Illuminati we are illuminated Okay, we reclaim that. Io sono illuminata. I am illuminated. Forget about what that word meant before. We are the true illuminated. Okay, so I just lost my train of thought. Bottom line, focus on love. Focus on light and let everything happen. So getting back, okay, so we are the illuminated and we need to keep the space clean for those who are suffering. We need to do that. That's our focus. Okay, so we know, we know that there's vile things. We know that there's horrible things. I'm actually, I'm holding on to a little quartz crystal just because, okay, I need to ground and get all this stuff out of me because I don't want no car accident. I don't want no manifestation of that. I don't even want a freaking paper cut. I don't want, you know, I lost an earring today. Okay? I'm telling you, I lost my focus. And it won't happen again.
<laughs> okay, so it won't happen again. I will not lose my focus again. So my screen went dark and I hit the clicker and it cut the video. So these are two videos spliced together. All right. Um, I've also had my butt kicked by my people, by my guides. Okay. Um, I got my butt kicked by the rapid fire girl. She, and, and what I actually had to do, I actually had to unfriend and unfollow somebody on Facebook. Um, because, uh, that person also brought in an element of the cabal. And I really think it started with that person, um, channeling, uh, some reptilian, a, a, a benevolent reptilian race that lives in Alaska, uh, that is supposed to be this person called QAnon, representing them. <sighs> Bottom line is, this person decided to work with them. I can't deal with it. I need to just cut, cut it out. So I cut this person out, closed it down. It's her path. It's not my path. It's not my lane. I'm getting out of her lane. I'm staying in my lane. And that's so super duper important. I just wanted to share that experience with you this week before I bring through the light language and whatever messages my guides choose to, to, uh, to say. Um, because it's amazing how easily you drop your energy. Um, just because of curiosity okay so anyway let me just take a few deep breaths and I'll and I'll bring through whoever wants to come through for light language Monday God bless you all see you at the end of the transmission and um, what else do I want to say click like click supplies uh, click uh, subscribe click like visit my pages buy my artwork okay um, schedule a um, healing session with me um, and you can do that by going to my webpage theartofhealing.org o-r-g okay and my artwork will be up there soon if not check me out on the art of healing on Facebook thank you very much We want to thank Anne Marie for doing this ministry, and it is very important that you understand that she in no way has an obligation to do this. As she stated previously, uh, we are very grateful for her allowing us to communicate through her. This is a very uh, special time in Earth's ascension process. 
there are mess many messages coming through many different channels, uh, not just Tina, that uh, something big is happening, something big is going to happen. And you as light workers are to keep the light. That is your job. You are to keep the light for many people who will only be able to see darkness. As things unfold on your planet, as the, uh, the uh, powers that have ruled this planet mercilessly for centuries are picked apart and taken apart, systems will begin to crumble. People will be in need of light. And that is where you come in. Please understand that you are the light. You are so important. All these eyes, beings, voices, people who are watching, listening to this message, to this transmission, you must know how important you are. You are invaluable to those of us who need to get our messages across to earth. So please take this role. Clean your lamp. You are a lamp that holds the light of the world. Anne-Marie was remembering a song she learned as a child. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, so they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. This is a childhood song that Anne Marie remembers, and it is just as powerful then and even more powerful now. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone who is listening to this transmission on this side and outside of the veil, please clean your lamp. Polish yourself clean. Now is the time for lights to shine brighter than before. Your lane is your lane. Do not seek out anyone else's. Enhance your own lane. Do it with guidance. Do it with divine guidance. What you encounter is a lesson. Anne-Marie learned a lesson. She did not get into any accidents, but she learned a lesson. So now we turn this back to you. We turn this information over to you so that it, it may sink in and that you may act upon it. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being seekers. May your light shine in this time of eminent darkness. Do not be afraid. Never be afraid. Because fear is what they want. And we offer only love. Thank you. You are blessed. I am the one you know is Jesus. This is the first time I am communicating through this being and she feels it and she is crying. I want you to understand that yes, I spoke through Tina the other day and I did warn you of eminent upset in your world and this is true. I kindly ask you, in a minute, in a minute, Mommy, I'll be with you shortly. I need that okay, I'll bring it to you. Let me finish what I'm doing, okay? okay? Thanks, honey. What I had mentioned earlier. What I had mentioned earlier. Through Tina is true. But this being wants you, through this being I wish to transmit, that you focus on love. Only focus on love. 
You are the light of the world. I want to reiterate what Anne Marie's guides brought through before. I thank you for your attention. I am the one you know as Jesus. I am with you. I have never left you. And I am coming again. Blessings to you all. Holy crap. Where are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. You witnessed it here. You witnessed it here. That was amazing. Thank you. Happy Light Language Monday on Tuesday. Happy Light Language Monday number 13. Blessings to you all.